When you experience high blood pressure on a regular basis, it's often recommended to manage your stress and watch over your diet. And while doing so is vital for optimal health, we often dismiss one simple solution that can help lower blood pressure efficiently. Our blood flows through our body best when it is carried around by liquids. Simultaneously, our blood can quickly thicken and rise in pressure when it lacks hydration. Ensuring you get enough fluids to boost your blood flow and keep your blood pressure under control is an essential step towards optimal health. But we know that not all drinks are created equals. Some might even aggravate your blood pressure. So what are the best drinks out there? Don't go anywhere and keep watching. In this video, we'll share 10 amazing drinks that can help reduce your blood pressure, including the best tea, water, and even juice. But before we jump in, can you do us a favor and like this video? And make sure you subscribe to Heart Disease Code. Ring the bell for future notifications for more health managing your blood health. And stick around to find out how you can get two free gifts. And now, let's dive into our amazing drinks, starting with number 10, apple cider vinegar. If the idea of drinking apple cider vinegar leaves you with a cringe on your face, perhaps it's time to embrace its sour and pungent taste, because your blood pressure will thank you for it. Apple cider vinegar contains acetic acids, which have shown to lower renin activity in the body. Renin is an enzyme that increases blood pressure, by stretching the receptors found in the vascular wall. In a study published by Oxford Academy, scientists observed that acetic acids reduce blood pressure by P less than 0.05 and renin activity by P less than 0.01. Other studies observed similar results. Noting that apple cider vinegar could help regulate high blood pressure by reducing LDL cholesterol levels. So while these data suggest that apple cider vinegar helps reduce blood pressure, how can you tangibly drink it? Well, nutritionists recommend diluting one to two tablespoons in a glass of warm water. You can mix in a teaspoon of lemon juice, honey, or even cinnamon to soothe the taste. Drink a glass first thing in the morning, but make sure to limit your consumption to one glass a day. Number nine, celery juice. If you're looking to add a green juice to your diet, celery juice is the option your blood pressure might have been waiting for. Celery is loaded with vitamins and anti-inflammatory properties, which can help reduce inflammation in the arteries. Celery is also low in sugar and mostly made of water, making it a highly hydrating stick. But where celery as a juice truly shines is through the phytochemical thalides it contains. Thalides are active compounds that relax the muscles in and around the arterial wall. As a result, it helps blood flow more freely, reducing blood pressure. A 2019 study done in Java, Indonesia showed that a random group of adults with systolic hypertension who consumed celery juice experienced a significant decrease in both systolic and diastolic blood pressure. A 2021 solo experiment observed similar results in an elderly man, noting that consuming celery juice for six months improved overall blood pressure. So while studies at a larger scale are needed to back up these results, celery juice is a safe and potentially beneficial drink to include in your diet. To make celery juice, simply juice five to 10 celery sticks in a juicer and consume sparingly. But if you don't like the taste of celery, another juice you might want to try is number eight, prune juice. Prune and prune juice have long been praised for their support on our digestion. But while other health benefits are kept under the radar, juicing this fruit can help lower your blood pressure. Prune juice is high in antioxidants and potassium. Potassium is shown to help balance sodium levels, or salt, in the blood, which can increase water retention and blood pressure. A study notes that supplementing with potassium can decrease systolic blood pressure by 4.48 mmHg and diastolic blood pressure by 2.96 mmHg. But is the potassium found in prune juice as efficient? Scientists seem to think so. In a control study, Researchers gave various amounts of prunes and prune juice to three groups of participants. 
After eight weeks of trial, they observed that eating three to six prunes daily reduces LDL cholesterol and overall blood pressure. All in all, incorporating prune juice in your diet may be a great way to increase your potassium intake and reduce your blood pressure. You can make your own prune juice by soaking and blending 5 to 10 prunes, or buy a 100% prune juice without additives at your local store. Number 7. Beet Juice Loaded with various antioxidants including vitamin C, vitamin E, carotenes and beta cyanins. Beet juice delivers a cocktail of nutrients your blood pressure will enjoy. Within its antioxidants, beet juice contains nitrates. It also has the unique ability to convert it into nitric oxide within the body. Nitric oxide helps relax and dilate blood vessels, boosting blood flow and reducing blood pressure in the process. In a 2017 study published in Retired Adults, experts observed that beet juice and its nitrates reduced systolic, diastolic and overall blood pressure within three hours after consumption. Another study found that juicing both raw and cooked beets reduced blood pressure. However, they noted that consuming 250 millilitres of raw beet juice for two weeks significantly reduced systemic inflammation and hypertension. Overall, data suggests that beet juice is powerful at reducing blood pressure. But while you might be inclined to go all out drinking this juice, stay cautious, as too much beet juice can increase the risk of your blood pressure dropping too low. Limit your consumption to one glass every other day and chat with your doctor. And if beet juice is not for you, why not try number six, pomegranate juice. If you're looking for another antioxidant rich juice that can lower blood pressure, you might want to explore drinking some pomegranate juice. These small red berries contain over 100 phytochemicals which have shown to significantly reduce free radicals, inflammations and blood pressure. A 2017 study investigated these positive effects. After giving pomegranate juice to a randomised group of patients for 12 weeks, researchers noted that consuming 240 millilitres of juice daily reduced systolic blood pressure, diastolic blood pressure. A review of 17 trials dived deeper, noting that drinking pomegranate juice could also help reduce cholesterol buildup in the arteries, no matter how much or how little juice is consumed. Overall, research suggests that pomegranate juice can reduce blood pressure by up to 12% and arterial plaques by up to 30%. So it's fair to say that pomegranate juice offers plenty of benefits when it comes to blood pressure. And while it's always best to check with your doctor or your nutritionist how much pomegranate juice you should drink, data suggests that drinking it regularly and moderately can help deliver these benefits. But while we've seen a lot of juice options so far, are there other types of drinks you can enjoy and lower your blood pressure at the same time? Absolutely. And we're about to plunge headfirst into those. But before we do that, are you ready for two free gifts? Find out everything you need to know to prevent heart disease with our free ebook, The Surprising Truth About Fat and Cholesterol. Plus, get exclusive insights from some of the world's leading medical and nutritional professionals by watching the first episode of The Untold Story of Heart Disease. Both gifts can be grabbed simply by clicking the link in the description below. So go and claim them for free. And now let's explore more amazing drinks to reduce blood pressure with number five, mineral water. When it comes to hydration and blood pressure, it doesn't have to be complicated. Drinking mineral water should be on your radar if you want to lower your blood pressure. After all, our body consists of 85% of water and water is vital to the harmonious flow of your blood. Drinking mineral water not only hydrates you, but it also detoxifies the blood of toxins, waste and excess sodium. A study involving two groups of 70 patients with hypertension looked at the effect of mineral water on blood pressure. One group drank a water low in mineral, the other drank magnesium rich mineral water. At the end of the study, researchers noted that those who drank mineral water had significantly reduced their blood pressure after four weeks 
However, it's important to note that not all mineral water are created equal. Waters rich in sodium and calcium can have the opposite effect on blood pressure. The best way to ensure you are getting proper and non-damaging hydration is to avoid drinking tap water, as these can contain a high level of calcium, especially in city areas. Instead, use a water filter or choose mineral-rich bottled water. And when it comes to hydration, aim to drink between 1.5 to 3 litres of water per day, depending on your lifestyle needs and body type. But not everybody loves water, and if that's the case for you, then you might want to try number 4, coconut water. If you love the sweet tropical taste of coconut, then you'll be happy to hear that coconut water doesn't have to be off limit. In fact, coconut water is showing promising results when it comes to lowering blood pressure. A study published by the West Indian Medical Journal trialled coconut water on 28 patients with high blood pressure. The patients were split in four groups and researchers compared various intakes of water and coconut water. After four weeks, the trial concluded that drinking coconut water reduced systolic and diastolic blood pressure by 71% after two weeks. Experts note these results are most likely linked to the high level of potassium coconut water contain. And we've seen that potassium can be efficient at reducing sodium in the blood, which results in lowered blood pressure. So while the study suggests that drinking coconut water can have significant benefits for your blood pressure, more research involving more patients are needed to assess these benefits on a larger scale properly. That said, there is no important side effect to drinking coconut water. So you're more than welcome to add it safely to your diet. Experts recommend drinking one to two glasses a day. Number three, cranberry juice. If you're craving a berry drink that's going to carve your sweet tooth without impacting your blood pressure, then why not try cranberry juice? Recent research suggests that cranberry juice may help keep your blood pressure under control thanks to its high antioxidant and vitamin C content. Vitamin C is shown to increase blood flow, reduce inflammation and dilate blood vessels, three essential steps for healthy blood pressure. An eight-week trial noted that supplementing in vitamin C reduced systolic and diastolic blood pressure. But can cranberry juice have the same effect? Scientists definitely think so. A study done by the American Heart Association looked at the impact of low-calorie cranberry juice. Over eight weeks, participants drank a glass of either low-calorie cranberry juice or placebo juice. When the study concluded, researchers noted that blood pressure significantly decreased in those who drank cranberry juice. However, it's important to note that the study was funded by Ocean Spray, a brand selling cranberry juice. All in all, consuming juice rich in vitamin C, like cranberry juice, can positively impact your blood pressure. But if there is one more juice you might want to explore, it's number two, tomato juice. If sweet juices aren't your cup of tea, then you may want to try tomato juice. Recent research suggests that drinking one glass of unsalted tomato juice per day may reduce blood pressure and improve heart health. In a large Japanese trial, Researchers studied 184 men and 297 women with pre- and existing hypertension and asked participants to drink tomato juice and record their consumption over 12 months. They observed that tomato juice reduced systolic blood pressure from 141.2 to 137 mmHg and diastolic blood pressure from 83.3 to 80.9 mmHg. Another study noted that drinking one cup of tomato juice daily for three weeks reduced arterial plaque, blood clot and risks of heart disease. Tomato juice seems to be so efficient for our blood pressure because it contains some essential nutrients such as vitamin C, vitamin A, carotene and potassium. So go ahead and enjoy a glass of unsalted tomato juice here and there. Your blood pressure will be happy for it. And if you like something a little warmer, then try our amazing drink. Number one, hibiscus tea. A warm cup of tea might be just what you need to lower your blood pressure. Hibiscus tea in particular has recently been praised for its benefits on blood health. 
In a review involving 390 patients, researchers noted that drinking hibiscus sabdarifa tea reduced systolic blood pressure and diastolic blood pressure by up to 95%. Pretty impressive, right? Well, while this review concluded with amazing numbers, another study observed similar results after giving hibiscus tea to patients with hypertension for six weeks. So what makes hibiscus tea so amazing for blood pressure? Hibiscus tea is packed with antioxidants including anthocyanins and polyphenols, which are powerful at decreasing inflammation, free radicals and blood lipids. As a result, drinking hibiscus tea can be a great way to lower cholesterol, soothe inflammation, boost blood flow and reduce blood pressure. And there you have it, 10 amazing drinks that help reduce your blood pressure. Which one has surprised you the most? And which one are you currently loving? Share your experience with our community in the comments below. And before you leave, make sure to claim your free gifts by clicking the link in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe to our Heart Disease Code channel. And hit that bell button for more help managing your blood health. Thanks for watching.